We're Mala and Don. And we're converting a 40-foot bus into our tiny dream home on wheels. One bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> we've come a long way from when we first purchased our bus. Home sweet home. And we've got one last major project. <laughs> we need to move into this bus already. This week, we're tackling... Plumbing going on. Plumbing. Plumbing in the inside of the house. We're plumbing all of the plumbing. Dealing with the plumbing issues. We're trying to do this plumbing. Stepping way outside our comfort zone. Now can thing. you get out of there? For one last big push. So just like all of the projects on the bus, things can go pretty smooth and until they don't. Yeah, there's a trip. Okay. This is exciting. Before we can officially call this bus our home. Yeah. It's bright and early, and it's finally the day we get to start plumbing in the inside of the house. I'm gonna start by getting our aquava tap, putting it in there. It's gonna be a great way for us to be able to quickly and easily have healthy, safe drinking water. The water disinfectant system has UV light that actually kills viruses and bacteria. And then there's also a little cartridge filter, I believe that takes out sediment or anything that hasn't already been caught with our house filters. So my first step, read the installation instructions and then kind of get a plan together and we'll get it in place. We're super excited about this water filter because it's something you just don't want to be worrying about. You're going to be getting water from all over the place when you travel and you just never know what the water is that you're getting. So to have a filter that takes out 99.9% .9 of bacteria, viruses, everything, you just know you're going to be safe. Plus, it's super small, it doesn't take up a lot of space, we don't have to worry about it making a mess. When we need water, it is just there for us on demand. I love how this little bag of pieces says, all pieces found inside this bag are necessary for proper installation. That means if I put it all together and I still got extra pieces, I did something wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on and get the main faucet in. The next piece of the puzzle, which is a little soap pump. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the magic Aquava box. The way that it mounts is it actually has a little bracket you can hook onto the wall, and then this part just kind of clicks into place and locks in. Put a couple bolts through both cabinets so that uh, mounting bracket is now bolted into place. It should be pretty sturdy. to jump in right here and let you know that if you are interested in getting the Acuva UV LED purification system yourself we will leave the website down below in the description and you get 10% off with code Rehabitate. One thing I learned after having Ivan and Sylvie help us put together our plumbing board is that building a plumbing board that you just attach to the wall, so much easier. So I think I'm gonna do that underneath the sink and keep it all nice and organized. We now have a board that I can mount under the sink that will supply water to hot and cold for a regular faucet cold to our Aquava smart faucet, and then cold to our dishwasher. Don and his dad are in the bus, and today is the day that they make lots of holes in our cabinets and in the floor to run pipes down to the water tanks. 
I get nervous every time we have to cut holes, so I try to stay away when that happens. It's just better that I'm not there getting anxious about it. But I want to go see what's happening. How's it going? Uh, good. We just hit a little bump. The uh, washer seems to be too thick, or the threads don't seem to be deep enough to actually attach our plumbing. Oh, that's a very little bump. I thought you were going to be like... We can't run the pipe over here, or we need the oh. hole too big, or... Nope. All right, give that one a try. <laughs> Turns out I showed up at just the time I didn't really want to when they cut a hole in the floor. <laughs> oh, well. Is that a good spot? Well, that's the only spot. The little spot where it's coming through underneath is quite hard to get in and film. But basically, here is our electrical bay. Then here's where the bathroom sink is. And so all the drains meet up and come down into the bay over here. And they're going to run across to where our water tanks are. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Now can take, you get out of there? To take your shoes off, that's all it took. <laughs> Here. Well, you made that escape hatch <laughs> just the right size, didn't you? Now that we got our holes going from the kitchen sink through towards where the bathroom sink is and the hole going down into the luggage bay below, we now can actually place our Tokik and vanity in the bathroom. Days like today have been few and far between in the last month or two when we had to make some big progress on the bus. Seeing the faucets in place and the aquifer system set up and ready to go and then spending time with my dad today it's exciting to see that all come together. And with the summer here, the longer days, it makes it easy to stay out working until 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. There is a lot going on today. We have plumbing going on. Our welder Jeremy is here. Jeremy's back. And he is welding us a frame for our water tanks. So our tank's gonna be set up like this. We're gonna have some foam board, gray tank, rubber mat, fresh tank, and then plywood on the side. That's all gonna be sandwiched together and held together by the metal frame. Jeremy has built us a nice metal tank so we can keep the sharks in the luggage bay in the back. There you go. That's ready to clamp and screw down. That was ready and that was ready. You know, Don? Yeah. Pipe's going that way, you're not gonna drain. So just like all of the projects on the bus, things can go pretty smooth and until they don't, well, we realize that in order to get the uh, drain to work up through here, we needed a much bigger hole than we had to get the angle right. So we're trying to cut a five inch hole. We had a two and a half inch hole. Five inch hole, of course, will be a bigger hole. It means I can get the pipe higher up that one side so that it's going downhill this way. I am getting the kitchen siliconed up particularly in this sink area, even between the tiles because they're just peel and stick tiles, there's no grout. 
So just to be extra cautious around the sink, because we know Don's gonna be spraying water around, <laughs> I'm putting silicone between each tile. hours getting silicone all over the kitchen. It looks so, nice and shiny. I hope it, it works. I'm gonna call it a day in the bus because I don't think there's barely space for one person in our bathroom. I got a couple more things to do with plumbing. We just about got all our supply lines ran to their connection points in the water tank bay and the drainage for both sinks upstairs. Really, all the plumbing in the house will be finished in a few moments. And then we just got to get our tanks and all of the plumbing in the bay is connected. building another water board with on-offs so we can shut off all the water going to the house. <laughs> Good? Yeah. So this is our master cold water off, master hot water off, and this is our send to the hot water heater off. As long as it's in the center, that's good. Just that rubber piece. back with some new drill bits. Yay! What a huge difference good drill bits make. Oh. All right, I'm gonna knock the rest of these out. Good drill bits make all the difference. The test fit works. So now I just gotta see if we can get the bolts in before it starts raining. It's a messy job. 
All right, here you go, Dad. I'm gonna hand it back to you. Okay, all the way? Yep, as far as you can go. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna get, I gotta get a washer, a nut on, just give me one second. I'm Dry. I know. <laughs> I'm getting soaking wet sitting here full you. <laughs> I would take a nap, but it's raining. <laughs> the rain just won't let up today. So those guys are just plowing ahead, getting it in place, because we need to move into this bus already. Before we can install the tanks in, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and put my inlets and plugs into the tanks so I don't have to be trying to fit them inside of the cage and work around the limitations of the space and luggage bays. Haven't seen every damn shuffling for a while. <laughs> well, I was gonna be using that plumbing paste today, so I knew I was probably gonna get dirty. Yep, you got it on your back somehow. Is that from <laughs> something else? I don't know. <laughs> Now bolted into place here, finally ready to connect all the plumbing together. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire in my 12 volts to my pump. I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of service loop so if I ever need to cut that off or remove it, I've still got plenty of wire. It's been raining twice a day or so, so we're just trying to get the little pieces done, the little things we can before it starts pouring on us. Making some good progress today. We've done all of our water pressure checks and we can't find any leaks with air pressure, so that's a real good sign. For our drainage from our sinks to our tub, they all meet up together and they come into our gray tank right here. And we got a HEPA valve here for one-way flow. And the last thing we need to do is connect these two together. We've got everything in place. I've got all my water going to the hot water heater. We've got air pressure into our lines. The only problem is I've got a small leak back here. And one of the ways you can check for leaks with air pressure, fill up your pressure to your system pressure and then spray it with soap and water and see if it bubbles. I think we have all of the plumbing together. I'm ready. This is exciting and a little nerve wracking. Did we get all the leaks out with the air? Will it work? First step, get some water into our fresh tank. There is a routine we'll do to sanitize the tanks and the water lines, but we're not gonna do that until we can get to 
fill and dump station because we gotta cycle through a couple hundred gallons of water. We got about, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 gallons. First thing we're doing is putting the fuse into our water pumps, 12 volt wires. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. This is our cold water supply to the house. Okay. No leaks out here? I heard something. Right there. This is actually, I don't see water though. I did. Oh, there it is. Shoot. First thing I'm doing is turn the cold water supply on to the bathroom sink. Mm -hmm. All seems good to me. Okay. So now I'm going to go down and check the drainage while Mel is going to let the water down from the lavatory sink. Can you hear me? All right, give it a go. I'd say that was a success. Next we're gonna go at the uh, kitchen area, see the plumbing here, and test our cold water supply. All right, so our cold water supply to our Acuva. There's no water sporting out of it. It looks good. And now we'll run some water into the sink. Wow. Just because it's cold. Yeah, there's a drip. Okay. I don't know where it's coming from. I watched a video quite a while back that said that the plumber's putty was the best thing to use when a moving vehicle, but everywhere I've found leaks, it's been plumber's putty. And when I remove it and put tape on, my leak is suddenly gone. So that means all of our cold water in the bathroom, in the kitchen is all working with no leaks. All right, let's try out our Acuva water filter. It says to let it run for one to two minutes to get it working. Are you counting? <laughs> Guessing. Can I turn it up? Sure, that's probably been a pretty close to two minutes. So that blue light that you see on the faucet and underneath in the unit is letting us know that it is working properly. It is filtering the water. If there's no light, you're not plugged in. And if the light is green, it's in a self-cleaning mode, which doesn't last very long. If the water sits idle for 12 hours, you haven't had anything to drink out of it for 12 hours, it'll go through a little self-cleaning protocol. Which means on this hot, humid, and getting ready to thunderstorm day, <laughs> we're ready to have our first glass of UV filtered water. Looks good. Smells good. Yeah, that yeah. tastes good. Let me try it. <laughs> mm. I need some water too. <sighs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how exactly how to describe it. It tastes, it tastes clean. Clean. So we have well water here, so that's what we've put in our tanks is the well water. And the well water is kind of stinky, so um, yeah, you could tell this has filtered it really yeah. well. <laughs> this doesn't taste anything like the water that we drink out, out of, of the, the tap. tap. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's no, really good. Let's have some more. <sighs> As you can hear, the thunderstorm is coming down. We still got some trouble shooting to do with the drainage, but we need to be able to go outside. This thunderstorm is going to carry on for the rest of the day. So we will get to it, but we're going to wrap this video up here. 
If you are interested in getting an Acuva LED water filter, we will leave the link below for the Acuva store. And thanks to Acuva, you can save 10% off with the code REHABIT8. We'll include that link and code below if you want to take advantage of that special offer for your own UV LED water purification system. Dan has been a real trooper dealing with the plumbing issues in all these small spaces. And I love you, baby. Oh, thank you. But we're not going to film any more of the plumbing because we just need to get it done because we are ready to move into this bus. There's a lot of highs and lows at the moment.